eliminate if three cos theta minus four cot theta equals to m and five cos theta plus 13 cos theta equals to n. This question number seven from the test. Three cos theta minus four cot theta equals to m and five cos theta plus 13 cot theta equals to n. So how to solve this? For this, first we will simultaneously solve these two equations to find the values of cos theta and cot theta. And we know that uh, reciprocal of cos theta is sec theta and reciprocal of cot theta is tan theta and the direct relationship between sec theta and tan theta is sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. So we use the value of sec theta and tan theta obtained by solving them simultaneously in that. So theta will be eliminated. Okay. So how to solve them for this? We can use crisscross method. A1x plus B1y equals to C1 to solve the simultaneous equations of two variables. We know that if A1x plus B1y equals to C1 and A2x plus B2y equals to C2 are the two simultaneous linear equation, we can solve it by x upon the second column is B1, B2, third column is C1, C2 equals to y upon this column C1, C2 will be repeated and after this, after C, there will be A1, A2 again as no, nothing after C1, C2. So we come back to the first column again and the last write minus one in the numerator and this column is repeated again A1, A2 then B1, B2. Then we cross multiply then this is the crisscross method of solving the simultaneous equations. So B1, C2 minus C1, B2 equals to Y upon C1, A2 minus A1, C2 equals to minus 1 upon A1, B2 minus B1, A2. So we will use this equations to solve these two equations. So in place of A1, it has 3. In place of B1, it has minus 4. In place of C1, it has M. In place of A2, C1 equals to M. In place of A2, it has 5. In place of B2, it has 13. In place of C2, it has N. In place of X also, they have cos theta. And in place of Y, these equations have cos theta. So using this crisscross method, in place of X, we will write cos theta over B1, C2 is minus 4 into C2 is N minus C1, B2. C1 is M into B2 is 30 equals to sine theta upon C1, A2. C1 is M into A2 is 5 minus A1, C2. A1 is 3 into C2 is N equals to minus 1 upon a1 b2 a1 is 3 b2 is 30 minus b1 a2 b1 is minus 4 and a2 is 5 b1 a2 it implies cos theta upon so b1 c2 check once minus 4 into n minus m into 13 equals to sine theta upon sin theta upon c1 a2. So m into 5 minus 3 into n equals to minus 1 upon a1 b2 minus b1 a2. So a1 b2 minus b1 a2 means a1 is 3 into b2 is 13 minus b1 is minus 4 into a2 is 5. Okay. So everything is correct.
So after correct checking this, we write minus 4m minus 13m equals to, it is cot theta, not sine theta. So if we write properly, we can make the correction if we have done something wrong by mistake, if we have written something wrong by mistake. So 5m minus 3n equals to minus 1 upon 13, 3 is 39 minus minus plus 20. It implies cos theta upon minus common into 4n plus 13m equals to cot theta over 5m minus 3m equals to minus 1 upon 59. So comparing first and third, we can find the value of cos theta and comparing second and third, we can find the values of cos theta. So if we compare first cos theta upon minus 4m plus 30, 4n plus 13m equals to minus 1 by 59. So value of cos theta will become minus 4m plus 13m will be multiplied by minus 1. This minus 4m plus 13m will be multiplied by minus 1. So it gives cos theta equals to this denominator is multiplied to the numerator of third ratio. So it becomes positive minus into minus plus 4n plus 13m over 59. And value of cot theta will be 5m minus 3n it will be multiplied by minus 1. So minus 5m plus 3n that is 3n positive will be written first negative then over 59. Now it implies sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta. As we know that there is no direct relationship between cos theta and cot theta. So first we will find the value of sec theta by using this value of cos theta. So reciprocal will be taken 59 upon 4n plus 13m. And at the same time reciprocal of cot theta is 10 theta. So 10 theta equals to 1 by cot theta that is 59 upon 3n minus 5m is taken. So sec square theta minus 10 square theta equals to 1. If we use this, theta will not be there. So 59 upon 4n plus 13m is complete square. Whole square minus 59 upon 3n minus 5m whole square equals to 1, which is the direct relationship between m and n without the use of theta. So we have eliminated theta, which we have to done, we have to do in this question, eliminate theta. If 3 cos theta minus 4 cos theta equals to m, 5 cos theta plus 13 cos theta equals to m. If you further solve it, no advantage of solving it further. So this is the final answer. Only one thing which we can do is to divide by 59 square to get 1 upon 4n plus 13m whole square minus 1 upon 3n minus 5m whole square equals to 1 by 59 square, which is the answer again. Though we can solve till this step also, no need to solve further.